Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover. We're playing as the United States in our Democracy Edition of Hearts of Iron 4. Let's continue playing. So last time, we took out the Japanese, and ultimately, because of the wonky event that didn't turn out to really do anything except give us a white piece, which didn't make any sense, I have adjusted the game to basically suit me as well as be as, as plausible to a degree as humanly possible. That's kind of weird to say. Anyways, so we're playing the United States, and I'm showing you the faction in North and South America. Obviously, in South America, as well as Central America, we have pretty much all the same stuff. United States, we have Mexico, we do have Honduras in our faction, as well as El Salvador, Costa Rica, Panama, we of course have Colombia. We have the new Venezuelan government under our control, under Pedro Melgarejo, uh, controlling Venezuela, which, is, which has a different flag. Uh, we have Ecuador, of course, still under Pez. Pez? I don't know how his name. And Peru under Shadow Man. No. Emilio de Santa Cruz. So they are now our puppet. And we also have Chile in our group, as well as Uruguay. Uh, also, I gave Haiti the Dominican Republic, just because I know back in the earlier days, Haiti used to own this. So, I just decided to figure, hey, you know what, let's not have two nations on a single island here, let's just have one big nation, and that will help, that won't really help reduce lag or anything, but it'll give Haiti maybe a couple more factories, maybe a little bit, quite a bit more manpower, so. Um, yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. I mean, the axis is pretty huge, and I don't want to show you Asia, but here we go. Alright, so here's Asia. They're all under me. And, now everyone's blue, everyone that's important is blue, and I'll show you the countries, and here we go. So, this is how the world looks. Once again, I'll show you the faction map mode. So we basically own almost all of modern day China, as well as Southeast Asia, and the Philippines and Japan. With that being said, let's talk about this. So Japan, of course, is back here. They're led by T Tetsu Katayama, the puppet of me, and they still have a bunch of, uh, I guess, national spirits, militarism. They have two point, almost two and a half million manpower, no ships, wow, no ships. Uh, let's see, guide the Zaibatsus, uh, let's see, anything else? Anything interesting here? No, they're still focusing on the Navy. But they will be a major supporter of me starting from here on out. And hopefully they'll start making something called anime and or hentai. Okay, anyways. Uh, North Co we have one united Korean Peninsula because we did not have to give any part of our lands to any sort of communist, terrible pre people like that. So we have one united Korea. This is one of the better timelines despite being one of the worst timelines. Uh, led by Sin... Sing Man Ri, and of course we have what appears to be United States or American China, as well as American Southeast Asia. So, here's my point in being. In China, we want a democratic government in place. So, I gave the Republic of China, which is unfortunately led by Wang Wenhao, instead of Chiang Kai-shek, or whoever that guy is. I don't really know him that well, I don't know how to pronounce his name very well, apparently. But... I gave the Republic of China control over a good chunk of China. Now, obviously, not I not give them all of the Republic of China's starting territory, but I do control quite a bit of the Warlords territory that they did not own at the beginning of the game in 1936. This, this is because I want the Republic of China to be here for a couple years first and really solidify their power, their control over what they own first. Because once that's done, they can purge anyone that are communists, anyone that are fascists, anyone that are not democratic people, then I can go ahead and start giving away some of this territory that I currently own back to the Republic of China. That being said, including the border between them and the Dominion of India, uh, and pretty much Tibet, which... Tibet is Chinese? Did I just get on the good side of the Chinese government? Maybe? People's Republic of China? Hey. Uh, anyways, um... So basically, I've literally taken this over. I'm building up a bunch of infrastructure up here. Actually, we can let the game go on since we have a bunch of soldiers rearranging themselves right now. Uh, let's see, what else is going on? So, I gave China a huge chunk of territory, obviously, like I said. They have 27 factories, which isn't bad. 41 civilian factories, which isn't bad either. They have 16 million manpower on... Holy crap, volunteer only. China, you are one big population person. I don't know what else to say about that. Just, holy crap. Forced conscription. Well, that would explain it. A little less war support, even though they're 94.5%. Uh, let's see. Daily army experience gain. Okay, okay. But anyways, since I will give them more territory over time. Oh, someone wants to join the faction? 
you. Oh! Corrigus. Do you, Kyrgyzstan, have any other claims anywhere else? Stalinabad as a core. Tajikistan. I want to say that this country should have more territory. I don't really want to invite them into the faction, but they could be very useful. Just don't go to the war. Don't go to war with the Axis. Or become communist. Because that would actually help us out maybe a little bit. Expand the front line a little bit against potential enemies. And we're, of course, still making divisions. Which is very good because we need those divisions. Because... That's how we're going to fight the war against the, the Nazis. A bunch more soldiers. And the Allies are canceling their non-aggression pact against me, which makes no sense. But regardless. Uh, where did I tell you guys go to go to? I told them to go somewhere. Oh. That's Army Group 3. Your Army Group 4. I think I told you to come up somewhere around here. Army Group 1. So that's Army Group 1. We have Army Group three operating over here army group two where did i tell you to go also i will explain vietnam just a little bit the southeast asian portion oh i sent them this is army group seven. Oh, korea i want you to come to korea that's right just so we have extra army groups stationed everywhere uh well that's okay i want you to come to pyongyang and seoul so they have, they all have orders, and we have exiled divisions in former provinces that are owned by the UK. Um, you don't have to stay there, guys. Whatever. Uh, let's see. Hmm, ports, ports, ports. Uh, definitely over here. Yeah, stuff like that would be good for now. Um, yeah. So basically, right now, what we're gonna do is hopefully send you guys somewhere else. Please. Uh, anyways, uh, we are going to get ready for a war with the Axis because they have finished up against, of course, the Soviets, and the Allies aren't doing very well. They have. Oh my God, that's a lot of manpower. Tons of ships, tons of divisions. Oh my gosh. Ireland Council non-aggression pact. I don't think the Allies are really going to declare war on me, but if they do, we're going to be in a big problem. I'm going to leave a lot of these planes here. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm not going to leave all of them here. Uh, you know what, send one of you guys to the Philippine Sea, because you never know where the Axis might turn up, so I want to keep them from... Uh, I want to keep them bombing this area. Strategic bombers. Uh, I will send you... Uh, over here, because you've got pretty good range anyways. East China Sea, standing by. Tactical bombers are just standing by. Oh, you were doing some... Ah, uh, tactical bombing. Very good. And you could probably do some of that as well. We are going to build up a lot of the airbase, so I'm not worried about doing this. What else do we have? we got a couple carriers. Um, I have set up, I think, a few different naval things for my guys to do. High-level bombing sounds very good that we've just completed. Mariana region. Uh, put you in half. Give me one of you guys. Close air support. Uh, just add them. Send them up this way, because I will start adding some of these guys to different armies. Be cool. Uh, heavy fighters, most definitely. Actually, you can probably send them to this guy. Let's keep a German theater under control. Because fighting in Asia is going to be one of the worst things I will ever do in this campaign. And one of the worst things that you could ever do in any of your campaigns. Alright. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Look at all these guys. They have like no planes. Good god. Wait, what's that? Oh, here we are. Some Heavy Fighter 2s. I guess I don't have any Heavy Fighter 3s just yet. Ah, oh, crap. We lost a day of research, but whatever. No one cares. Not really. And then I'll just add you to some place. I'm going to add a lot more when we're speeding through time here. Let's see. So we're done with the Air Doctrine. Great, great, great. It's 1945, and I'm falling behind a little bit compared to our historical um, workings. Historical gameplay. Because I prefer to focus on a theater at a time. That's just me. Ooh, actually. Also, I did send a lot of ships to repair. Um, especially subs. Definitely a lot of subs have been sent to repair. I will need more aluminum, so let's do that. Arsenal Democracy, Operation Catapult. Nation building in a lot of these places, huh? To promote more, more democratic values, more stability. I already did execute nuclear strikes on Japanese soil. And we've got a couple more divisions here. Actually, what I'm going to do with this group... New theater. 
I'm gonna put you call you as home defense because you never know what the AI might do. I'm gonna put you on low priority. Put you under random general, Jonathan Wayne Wright under field marshal, nobody. Hmm. Well, you're an old guard. That actually sounds like a good idea for an old guard member to do. Just gonna hold the line there. And just in case, something like that. Across the mountains. Makes total sense, right? Virginia, you're fine. Up, oh, actually, station you in like North Carolina because that's kind of in between. California, we have a lot of divisions, but I'm gonna need probably even more as we get really started against the Germans. Maintenance company support, anti-air support, anti-tank. How are our tanks? Yugoslavia changed non-aggression pack. Ooh, we have better Marines. Modern tanks. All right. Any support companies I can add on to my infantry, which could help out. Yeah! T-27 xylophones. Rocket launchers. Sounds pretty good to me. I want my guys to have quite a bit of attack. Uh, and I still have a lot of these ships stationed here. Guarding our coast. That's really what I want. Uh, let's see. Anyone? I don't think anyone has upgrades. We only have two naval experience. I did send some of our subs, our backup subs, to... Oh god, you guys are doing... Oh my gosh. Army Group 3, you have it in order to kind of hang out. Have a good time. Army Group 1. Army Group 3. There you go. Alright, and then this is Army Group 1 under Dwight D. Eisenhower. And you'll come over here. Alright, so keep going, guys. Keep going. And I will station the tanks here-ish. Alright, anyways. I have moved around some of our submarines because you know some of them well, since we're not at war they are refitting I think that would be appropriate so and we def are we not repairing no we're not we are not repairing at all because to repair you need to use dockyards you're currently using and I have quite a few of these so let's go ahead and start repairing a lot of these guys I could actually probably use more dockyards Ooh, actually do that and I've also told these guys where they should go now. Now, starting with this, we have a couple of destroyers here. I'm going to start adding these guys. These I'm going to make a new, basically a new mm, task force and put them in the Atlantic Patrol Fleet. That's my next step. As well as kind of increase the number of capital ships in the Atlantic Strike Force Fleet. Because now, since the Pacific's pretty much under control, we can send it pretty much to... Asia? I mean, it's still the Pacific over here, but I don't think the Germans have that many ships. I think they're more concentrated in Europe. And probably Africa, probably. And maybe a little bit the, Atl the Atlantic. But we're going to have a major problem if the Germans start invading South America, probably. Ooh, 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 improved amphibious tractors. Ooh. And for this, yeah, I will grant you access now through here, because that was actually a pretty good idea to do. And... Let time go on. I hope the Axis doesn't declare war on me. Oh my gosh, we need so much chromium. And Cuba can't supply all of it to me. It's fine. Free France. I will definitely help you out, Free France. Oh, we need more convoys. Oh, crap. Oh, that's because we're sending so many, like, our entire military over to Asia. That makes sense. That makes perfect sense. Uh, nation building. Eh, how much political power? 1.6 political power a day. Uh... Man, the budget. That actually wouldn't be too bad, because I want it, I need to produce a lot of things right now. Because I'm making, like, all sorts of upgrades here. A lot of infrastructure upgrades, since we're going to put a lot of divisions here. Ooh, better logistic companies. Nice. Uh, let's get some better... That's good. That's really good. I want better ships, but ships really aren't the focus anymore. Artillery is pretty good. Armor, we're making some modern tanks. Amphibious tanks. Light tank modified to float. Offers fire support to units. Amphibious tank battalion. Ooh, is that what the one we want instead of the other ones? I'm not sure. DD Shermans. I'm not really sure which this is better or the... Uh, that's not this one. I want to see Marines. If I take... Let's remove and add in... Oh, wait. Well, we have to do that. Okay. Let's see. Go ahead and remove that. Put in... Station that guy over here. I do have coffee here, by the way, if you're wondering. Uh, let's see. 
Amtrak battalions. That adds a little bit of armor if you see. We get a ton more defense. Holy crap. Almost 90 more defense. 19 more soft attack. 153 more fuel capacity, which is normal. 30, per, 30 more HP. Almost 5 armor. Plus 20% piercing. Or 20 piercing. Plus 3% reliability. Really quite a bit higher production cost. But holy crap. Man. That's not bad. Suppression. I mean, the weight does go up. Combat width is only two? Wow. Wow. That's interesting. I might be able to play around with that a little bit. Uh, let's get time going on. Hmm. Oh, crap. I forgot. I haven't selected anything. God dang it. Fire controls. Uh, I need more naval stuff. I really need more naval stuff. Carrier holes. Well, let's get let's make some better destroyers. Carriers are fine enough right now. And uh, screw it. I need to amend the budget, but we'll do a small lobbying effort as well at the same time. 0.62 political power a day sounds pretty good. And yes, I am building a lot of radar. You can totally judge me for that. I don't really care. But with all this extra time, we are getting more nuclear bombs. Very nice. Ah, good. Privateer, hey. Eh? Awesome, and that was... Oh, the naval bombers. Awesome. Naval bombers, yes. Yes, please. Uh, let's see. Alright, then. And we had trade. We were importing stuff that we don't really need. I'm getting two from Canada? When did I do that? Hmm. Sorry, free France. And eight extra rubber. Do I have enough... Almost enough rubber to support my own needs? Holy crap. It's kind of nuts. Uh, let's see. Yeah, home defense. Looks good. Keep going, guys. Keep going. I could train. Uh, how many divisions do we have? We have two divisions in Manchuria. Oh, we've got a lot of divisions around Mongolia, which is good. Mm, War plan red, ruby, plan white, anti-Bolshevik aid. Plan silver, gold. War plan black. Free France. Yeah, we're pretty much out of things to do here. Secure China. Um. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to invite Communist China into the alliance because there's no threat to Communist China. I'm trying to s smash or get rid of, you know, Communism. Shatter the Empires. Huh. Puppet war goal against them all. All right. Wartime industry, whatever. Well, let's come back over here. We're playing red, defense of the Pacific. I don't want to go against the Allies. That's kind of a waste of time. Let's get Maritime Commission so we can build faster dockyards. And god dang it, are you guys still over here? Get over here, guys. Come on, come on, seriously. These aren't your islands. As much as the UK really doesn't have control of these islands anymore because they're out of um, fuel, doesn't mean you can just stay there. Uh, you get added over there. Oh, no, they're trying to invade the UK. That's not good. I've got to start a war quick or something because no one in the Treaty of Reciprocal is... Uh, Assistance. Also, I did tell you that I'm basically doing the same thing with Southeast Asia. So, because of the lack of control that J that France has over this territory, I'm keeping it for myself for now. I am hopefully quashing any sort of communist colonial uprising. And in the future, I will return this to somebody. Who, who it'll be, I don't know. Maybe I'll release the Vietnamese as an ally, as a puppet. I don't know. We'll definitely have to see what happens, because I, like I said, don't really know what I'm going to do with those guys. To me, they're just kind of there. Uh, need a new commander eventually. Anyways, Panzer Leader, Panzer Leader. He's an old guard, Leslie McNair. How are you an armor officer as well as an old guard, huh? I don't think you use that many tanks in World War One if you're from that era. Hmm. Anyways, we got so many of that. Ah, oh, god dang it. I need... I mean, this is mostly a preparation video, I suppose. Or, I guess, episode, really, video episode. But, hopefully by the end we will be at war with the Germans. Holy crap, I need so many dockyards. Oh my gosh. Half of my entire list here is literally just trying to build these guys up. Yeah, go come down here. 
I don't need that many screens in Virginia right now. Yeah, go ahead and finish these guys up as m fast as possible. So, yeah, yeah, do that too. Very good. And actually, since you guys are here, you guys are refitting. You're not repairing, you're refitting. Is anyone down here? That's a division. Wait, Highlanders? What are you... God dang it. You come over here or something. Oh, no. You gotta come to a naval base to get off that those islands. Let's see. Um, do I have any spare ships? Yeah, the, the ships in Virginia. They're not doing anything. Go ahead and train. I'm gonna send you right back to Virginia when we're done here. But I need a little bit more naval XP. Which they did. Oh, crap. They did nerf that into the ground. God dang it. That sucks. I really wish they didn't nerf it into the ground. But whatever. That was part of 1.6.1. How are our our ugh, how are our armies? They're not looking so good right now. There are a ton of divisions that the Germans have that they will throw at us, which is not very good. However, we gotta be re building up a ton of infrastructure right now because the supply situation. Oh my, good God, that's not good. I'm gonna need an army for down here then too. Well then, you're not gonna be at home rule. What you're gonna have to do? Is defend against the Axis. Mm. Gotta love coffee. Mm. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna send you guys up here. I don't know if this is gonna be very successful, but these seems like the only thing that we really can do. Why is Jap Japanese divisions are in here? Japan? What are your divisions doing over there? Oh, Consolidated Liberator. Get the B-29 Super Fortress, that'd be great. Go ahead and repair, build up. Very nice, very, very nice. I can't afford... Oh, wait, we've got extra armies over... Where happened to your Field Marshal? Oh, this is a Pacific Theater. Alright, that's fine. Uh, home Defense. Well, we got three divisions over here just kind of hanging out. It's fine with me. Against the Germans in Asia, well, that theater's kind of... Not exactly here, but it is. Actually, I'm going to throw you guys into this army group as well. There we go. That's a little easier. Let's see. Douglas Destroyers. Awesome. Since we're here, we might as well get some better close air support. And build up carrier naval bombers. Since you're here, we're going to help defend this area of Asia. We will also defend this area over here. Kyrgyzstan, you might just end up dying, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. Ooh, the xylophones, nice. Ah, I do better half tracks. I have a spare army just in case. That'll be important. Spare army just in case in the back. In the reserves. So I need everyone here basically in Asia. We're going to fight a land war in Asia, which I recommend never ever doing. But it's pretty much come to down at this point that I have to do it like this. Maybe a little bit more, uh, not that you France, more, a little bit more aluminum. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cool. Lots of extra divisions here. Oh, and actually, we can probably get rid of this. Very good. Having China under our command also will help out with it. a lot of manpower. And they're making a couple divisions, which is good. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. God dang it. This is going to be one interesting war now. An extremely interesting war. Since I need time to build up in Asia so the infrastructure isn't such crap. Oh, the UK's dead. Oh, my gosh. Hopefully. Oh, no, 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 no. Maritime Commission. No, oh my god. If, when the UK falls, I'm going to fight a... I'm going to fight Canada. Hmm. That's not good. That's really not good. No, not that. I need... So when we go to war with the Germans... Uh... We're going to have to fight on a home front and take out Canada. Oh, crap. I'm going to actually ignore all the rest of the focuses. I have to build faster. Build, 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 build. 
advanced heavy battery. Very good. Battery torpedoes. Oh, god dang it. That's a problem with me not getting involved. And the Germans actually were able to take out the UK. Even though they had how many divisions? 60! They had sixty up to 60 divisions. Enough manpower to help defend against everyone. But I guess that wasn't enough. Well, it looks like it's going to be one hell of a cold war between me and a good chunk of South America. Versus Africa, Europe, and parts and bits of Asia. Oh my gosh. Oh no, there must be a peace conference. The game is lagging very hard right now. Oh my good god. Oh, and they just annexed them. They straight up annexed everyone. Oh, no they didn't. They actually puppeted a bunch of people. Okay, so... Okay, so this is interesting. The German Reich... Oh, look at the UK. There's little stripes of Italy in there. Little strips of Italy. Uh, there's Vichy France. They have all of that. Italy is quite the thick person now. That's almost like a duplicate Italy. They took... Italy took almost all of Africa, minus Vichy France, as well as parts of Middle East, and German Reich took Pakistan mostly... Oh, the Olympic Games, oh god, no. While the Germans also took at India and the new new Mughal Empire, seriously. And they took Mandalay. Oh god, oh good god. This is so not good. I needed this episode to prepare for the next Cold War. United States, well, oh god, oh, cent Centralist Australia, come on, man. Give me a break. German East Indies, German Reich. Uh, oh, the Kiwi Empire. Oh, look at this guy. Why is he smiling? Oh, my. Oh, we have Marines. Uh, home defense? Yeah, home defense. Oh, no, not Unitary Canada. That's so not good. Oh, this guy. Oh, he's back. This is so not good. Oh, I'm, I am not ready for a war like this. I spent too much time trying to take out Japan. But this all makes it for a very interesting episode, doesn't it? Very interesting. Pacific Theater, where are you guys stationed at? Uh, where do I, where should I put you guys? I don't want to invade Australia because that's a pain in the ass. That's a huge pain in the ass. That's so not fun to do. Hmm. This is not good. This is very not good. Uh, I'm going to keep my Marines here. Oh, the German Reich's already in North America. That's really not good. Keep the German... Uh, you know what? Keep my Marines stationed around Washington and Baltimore. Just in case for now. I don't know where I'll send them. But this is so not good. I'm going to add you guys to home defense. Prioritize that. Garrisons can go down to low. Marines. Well, we already have seven of them. I think we're okay with them so far. We'll keep them on that. And you know what? I'm just going to add a bunch of divisions to home defense because we really need that. Alright, so basically what we're waiting for, probably next episode, we will have one massive battle between, or a massive cold war right now, but a war between me and the Axis, which obviously we'll be able to take out North America pretty easily. Uh, they also have a little chunk of South America, but I'm not really too worried about that. Actually, I could send my Marines down that way. That would make more sense. Because Italy does not deserve <clears throat> any of this. However, the land war in Asia will tell who will be truly victorious. Because they don't have a lot of divisions over here. Interesting. Interestingly enough. Uh, let's see. Do we need anything else? We need more aluminum and chromium. Cuba, you got any more for me? That would be great if you had some more for me. Oh god, this is not good. Nation building. Enforced liberation of American territories. Of, where's that? Demand liberation of American territories. American territories. Well, let's see. The German Reich refuses ultimatum, calling a note, calling our note an unacceptable intrusion into internal matters of the German Reich. The German ger German government has flatly refused to discuss their sovereignty over their American territories. Uh, they have been warned. Oh God, do same thing to. Any more political power to do that. Oh, God. But that gives a, a good war goal to overthrow the government, which we will use in the future. Yeah, this is... A center of tires. A little unnerving, not going to lie. How much congressional support? Eh, let's do some small lobbying efforts. 
Okay, I still get a little more political power every single day. Do we have most of our divisions here already? Let's see, what are you guys doing? You guys go ahead and repair. Uh, this is my task forces. I mean, we have more carriers now for the U.S. Pacific Patrol Fleet. Uh, for our subs... Actually, I didn't rearrange you guys too well. Actually, I didn't really re rearrange you guys at all. But for subs... What we're going to have to do... We're going to have to raid... Maybe keep raiding all this area. Hmm... I'm going to add Solomon Sea and Coral Sea as well. And the Tasman Sea as well. We will need to do that. Because we're getting ready for this next war. Docked in Chugoku. Ooh, 1944 destroyer hulls. Awesome. Ooh, and that thing too. Cool. Uh, this is our battle force. The main pride of our fleet. Oh, you're going to get murdered out here. What you could do is do patrols in the Sea of Japan. You don't need to do East China Sea anymore. Just kind of contest to see if there's any... Supplies coming through here, and let's get some research going. Uh, sure, dual purpose stuff. Guns, it's almost 1946, we got a couple, we got four nukes, which is good. Actually, for our infantry, can we add anything here yet? No, darn. Well, I'd probably add field hospitals to them. It looks like, for the most part, we are pretty much ready to go. But before we do, I want to see how many more... Ships need rep oh my god, so many ships need repairs still. But they're mostly just subs, so I'm not too worried about that. I, I will not declare war until we have enough divisions on the home front. Because right now, Canada still has a couple divisions, and I'm pretty much left wide open without any extra divisions here. Ah, oh god, why? Oh god, why? This is so not good. This is really not good. But it makes for one hell of an interesting game, doesn't it? Hmm. Let's see, we got a couple Marines down here. Actually, we could probably boost up some infrastructure down here as well. And using up more time will allow us to build up all these provinces over here, which includes air bases and the sort. Hopefully we can destroy a lot of German infantry around here as well. You just have to break them eventually. You just grind away at them and have a good time with them. They have almost over a thousand divisions. Jesus freaking Christ, I'm waiting too long for this. Oh, good God. Mines, naval damage. Mine, mine lane for submarines. Hmm. Let's get some better recon companies here. Alright, so here's my plan. Between this episode and the next, I will further prepare myself for incoming war with the Germans and her allies. It's going to be one hell of a war. Anyways. So, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's pretty much our preparation video for the next war, which will happen in, literally in the next video, probably at the start of the next video. Hope you liked it. Subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you tomorrow as we, as the Democratic Republicans of the world, will lead our charge into three different continents. The Axis, over Africa, Europe, and Asia. Thank you very much for watching, guys. See you tomorrow.